Hello, my grave stones, Grimgy here. And last year, in April, in April, I reviewed Godzilla 1954. Take the time to cash in on the release of Godzilla King of the Monsters. Now that, now that Congress of Godzilla is going to, it's going to be released this year, or maybe, depending on how the coronavirus is, and how dangerous the coronavirus can get, get, and I reviewed, and earlier this month, I reviewed Kong, Kong and Deep Free Free, because it made sense because last year I reviewed the first Godzilla film, I reviewed, so I might as well review the first Kong film. And I thought, I need to cash in on, on, for the a Godzilla review. You can't have Congress Godzilla film, because I could have reviewed the first one, but, and I already reviewed the Kong film. Ugh. So I thought, let's pick the one that fans, the Godzilla film, Fans hate the most. Yes, which which was marketed so bigly, which I'll mention after the review. Seriously, it has a lot of marketing. And with the help of the Independence Day team, and and the help of TriStar Pictures, a a film studio owned by Sony, with their with a with their latest film being a being a lot better than this one, a lot of fancy, of A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, the story of Mr. Rogers. So, here's my review on Godzilla 1998. Wow. What? Like, what? Jeez, 1998. Wow. I would say I feel old if I wasn't born in 2000. Okay, now for the review. Our film starts with a type of cool like desert shots with a bunch of animals with a cool green shot in with some good music music and and then a and then a and then a kaboom leading to Godzilla turning into a to making Godzilla and judging by the creatures that that we see in the shot He's probably a mix of a iguana and a Komodo dragon. Which are totally known for being related to dinosaurs. And not like something like, I don't know, like birds. Because, like birds. <sighs> which is where he, then Godzilla, like attacks a ship, kind of like the first film. Film, film, leading to us, then it leads to us to our protagonist, Nick Satopoulos, who is played by Ferris Bueller, who is a guy who studies worms, yeah, that's kind of weird, where he gets, where people keep mixing up his last name, seriously. Yeah, like, that's pretty much like that. Then, some people are too caring to know what about, to try to care, to, try, to assume in, like, one of the survivors of the ship. And him, where the old Asian guy says, says Godzilla's Japanese name, Gojira. And, after some things, then we cut to New York, to a not Fox News joke. News joke, and then Sotopolis is is told by the military to study to study the signs of since Godzilla of a footprint. Or he even meets a paleontologist and explains the likely, and then he then they move to. And they get to New York, which is probably exciting, because of the French Polynesian. Um. Which is why, yes, yeah, because. 
Because Europe is is always known for their desert animals. Yeah, I Yeah, I'm actually questioning this yeah, I'm questioning this film too much. Then we're gonna do next or a fisherman catches Godzilla. Where we get that word where we get to see Godzilla in his dated nineties CGI form. <sighs> where we then we even get the scenes of the voice actors of the Simpsons. Yeah, like like they show like a lot of them, such as Maybe you care about, like, Moe's voice actor? Maybe Moe's voice actor? Let's see, like, maybe Kent Brockman's voice actor? And even Bart Simpson's voice actor? We're, we're leaving show rain to mask the dated CGI. I need CGI. Jackson Nigley and tried to... We're one of the reporters... Reporters actually mentions like how it's the biggest tragedy since the bombing of the World Trade Center. How can how fucking can this film get? Dang, can this film get? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay then. Let's. Where we get to a lot of like. Where the military tries to, to kill Godzilla with him, with the military destroying more of New York than Godzilla. Oh, jeez, who knew the military invented PETA? <laughs> yeah. Then we get. And after some things, we. So, let's stop with the side to lure with fish. Where is the top list says, that's a lot of fish. No shit, Sherlock. <sighs> and then you have to get to the bait. And then, then we see, then, Centopolis finds blood, or at least finds scoops up some DNA and and buys pregnancy tests. Wait, am I watching Godzilla or Junior Juno? Yeah, because. Yes, because when I think Godzilla, I think pregnancy. And after some examining, they discovered that Godzilla can actually lay eggs because uh, because all aquatic because aquatic reptiles are also known for for producing eggs sexually. I get like maybe it's like some reptiles like I get like like would they produce eggs sexually because. Because some reptiles can actually get killed from mating, but but the ones that usually do this are in the desert. Like I get like there's some fish that can actually you know that like male fish that can actually lay eggs like like now female. Species actually are the ones that lay the eggs. And then until going for likely. Uh, until they f go fully. Where do we get to see the French military? Terry and complaining how there's no croissants. I'm French and I have never even ate a croissant. And... And then Tatopolis is actually taken by one of the French to the French military's armory. Where they're going to kill to kill Godzilla and the babies. After we see like a possibly that could kill God with a with him with him moving like like a kid dropped a toy. Yes. Yes, like and then after they go into Matt where after they discovered where the eggs are in Madison Square Garden, the military decided the like military decided to bomb Madison Square Garden. 
Yes, we even get to see... We even get to see a bunches of Son of Godzillas. Sons of Godzillas. Not Son of Godzilla, but sons and probably daughters. And which is also under New York Knicks Stadium. It's so... Then we get... Then we get to some... To where they... Where they try to... Try to blow the eggs. But too late. The eggs have already hatched. And, and we get to see it's some ripping of Jurassic Park. And that they're going through some, like, some jumping to likely. And after they try to kill most of the dinosaurs and... And once and, fi once and for all, actually kill Godzilla. Our film ends with one of the eggs hatching. Doing some sequel baiting. Which, other than the TV show and... Yo... There was no sequel. Sequel, yeah. And now on the things I now on the things I don't like. The pacing is boring. Seriously. Seriously, I almost fell asleep during the action scenes. Things I like. The score for this film is quite good. Other than that, this movie sucks. Yes. Yeah, this film is quite, quite garbage. Like, like it's very dated. Other than that, I lip that old church sort of thing. They even show tons of product placements to probably stuff that. That are either not really as big as they knew to, or have been discontinued. To like this, they even show this type of stuff called Zubaz, Zubaz, which, which is probably not discontinued because I don't see them, because I don't see this soda in, in my likely. And, pretty much likely, and this thing got a cross promotion with Taco Bell. Yeah, that's, yeah, with the Taco Bell Chihuahua. Where they even make a reference to Jaws, but they were going to need a bigger bow thing, but with a box. Yeah, now, I know Godzilla did have his corny moments, but those were from Japan. But those films were made in Japan, likely in the 60s and 70s. Because, you know, Japan is quite weird. But this is a movie made by Americans in the 90s. Like, you know, back when a lot of that corniness stuff wasn't really a thing? Yes. Yeah. But lucky for us, Legendary Pictures made a better reboot. Yes, and even possibly a good sequel. I have not seen the sequel, but... But that's all for now. Don't forget to slash the like button and kill the comment section. And stay tuned for next week for April Fool's, where I'm going to be reviewing something different. I'm going to be reviewing... A Live Action Comedy. See ya.